A judge sentences a prisoner to be hanged between Monday and Friday next week. The judge stipulates that the prisoner won't know the day of his hanging until the executioner knocks on his cell door the day of at noon. After retiring to his cell, the prisoner comes to the conclusion that in fact he won't be hanged at all. He comes to this conclusion with the following reasoning. First, the prisoner can't be hanged on Friday. That's because Thursday by noon, if the executioner doesn't knock on his cell door, he will know before the day of his hanging that his hangings to take place on a Friday. So Friday, according to the sentencing, can't be the day he's hanged. Second, if Friday is not a possible day, that means that between Monday and Thursday he must be hanged, making Thursday the last day that it is possible for him to be hanged. If Thursday is the last day, he can use the same logic where he cancelled Friday as a possibility to cancel out Thursday, where Wednesday by noon, if the executioner hasn't knocked on his cell door, he will know that Thursday is the day of his hanging. He uses the same logic in order to cancel out Wednesday, Tuesday, and then Monday as possible days for him to be hanged. Wednesday at noon, the executioner knocks on his cell door, and the prisoner is taken totally by surprise. This is the unexpected hanging paradox. This paradox is perplexing because while it's a paradox that we could imagine happening in the real world, we can't find the correct answer to it. And what I mean by that is no one in the academic community has come to accept one answer as the universally correct one. So let's try to answer it. The first thing we should look at is, was the judge wrong? And I think from all accounts, we can say that in this instance, the judge wasn't wrong. So maybe the prisoner was wrong in his reasoning or his logic. And is that the case? Certainly, if the judge was not wrong in anything he said, and if everything he said was totally true, then the prisoner should be able to use the judge's words in order to cancel out Friday as a possible day of his hanging. And if the prisoner is able to cancel Friday out, he knows that his hanging will take place between Monday and Thursday. And if it takes place between Monday and Thursday, he should be able to cancel out Thursday as a possible day too. So the only area the prisoner's logic could be wrong is in canceling out Friday as a possibility for his hanging. In order to figure out if the prisoner should cancel out Friday as a possible day of his hanging, let's take a look at what the prisoner actually concludes and cancels out in his sentiment or his statement. The prisoner concludes that in fact he won't be hanged at all. And first, I think we should note that this seems to be a bigger conclusion to jump to than jumping to the conclusion that the judge may have been incorrect about something else in his sentencing. In this instance, that he'll be taken by surprise when the executioner knocks on his cell door at noon. If that's the case, then the answer to this paradox is actually relatively simple. The answer is, the prisoner jumped to the wrong conclusion based on his understanding of total information that was in fact incomplete information. And in fact, we've already accepted that what the judge said to be true was totally true. So how can we negate what the judge said with the prisoner's logic while still holding true to this paradox's words? One thing we might consider is that while the judge's statement was totally true, it may not have been completely true or completely whole. He may have chosen to leave out a part of the sentence that he figured would not be applicable. And that part of the sentence would most likely come at the end. For instance, the judge's sentence could have read like this. The prisoner is to be hanged between Monday and Friday next week. He is to be taken totally by surprise if his hanging does not take place on Friday. Just adding this if statement negates the prisoner's ability to cancel Friday as a possible day of his hanging, and all of his logic thereafter falls through. So with that, I am fairly confident in deciding that the prisoner jumped to the false conclusion here. However, a lot of people don't like this answer, and they don't like it because 
we're in fact changing the wording of the paradox in order to give an answer. And by changing the wording of a paradox, you can actually unravel it and turn it into a non-paradox in itself. So let's try to answer it without imposing this statement on the judge. We might be able to do that, sticking to our guns and keeping the same explanation that we started with. That is, that the prisoner jumped to the wrong conclusion. In order to figure out if we can do that, we should first look at why the prisoner jumped to the conclusion in the first place. The prisoner came to this conclusion primarily because he didn't have total confidence in the wording of the judge's sentencing. And if he didn't have total confidence in the wording of the sentencing, it should be fair game for us then to determine that he shouldn't have had total confidence in any of what the judge has said. So even if the judge's words remain the same, we can conclude that the prisoner would be correct in assuming he can't be sure he'll be surprised. We can conclude this primarily because we can imagine instances in the real world where the judge is wrong. For instance, while in this paradox and in these exact situations, the judge may have been correct, if we imagine this taking place, let's say a thousand times in the real world, if the judge is always correct, we should assume that a deciding party is making sure that a prisoner is never hanged on Friday. And in fact, that deciding party has the agency to decide if the prisoner is hanged at all. Therefore, there is some power that is making sure the judge's words are coming true. And that power is not necessarily reliable. Or at least, we would be foolish to think that this power that is choosing something could never make a mistake. And it is in the deciding agent's ability to make a mistake about, let's say, the prisoner being surprised, where we find that the prisoner shouldn't jump to the bigger conclusion that he won't be hanged at all, but should jump to the smaller conclusion that maybe he will be hanged on Friday and the judge's words are incorrect. Or maybe he'll be hanged on a totally different day than a weekday next week. He just can't be 100% certain that every word the judge has said will come true. Because of that, he can't use his logic in order to cancel out Friday as a possible day of the hanging. Even if it is just slightly possible. Friday remains as an open possibility, therefore he can be surprised between Monday and Thursday when the executioner knocks on his cell door, and Friday, although he may not be surprised, he certainly can be hanged. If you liked this video, drop a like below. And if you want more answers to questions like these, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll receive notifications of my next video.